It's the Nuka Cola Lounge Kitchen, bringing you the flavors of the wasteland without the radiation. Today's contrivance. Today is our third and final episode on Nuka Cola Classic. As I said in the very first video, we have three recipes for Nuka Cola Classic. In the first video, we did an intermediate level recipe. In the second video, we did a very basic recipe, which it's basically three kinds of pop mixed together. Today's recipe is a little more advanced. Those out there who are more adventurous in the kitchen, you'll probably enjoy mixing this up. And for everyone else, well, we hope you enjoy watching it. Or maybe you know somebody who can make it for you. That's always good. Get them to do the work and then you enjoy the new Coca-Cola. That, that, that seems like a good way to go about it. So here we go with today's recipe. Take it away, Cy. Well, thank you, Ash, and you're welcome for all the hard work. Today's recipe is the advanced recipe. Now this recipe is the accumulation of all the information I have on the original Nuka-Cola, the one in Fallout 1 and 2, combining information from a few years of being a chef, experimenting with drink creation, and being a big longtime fan of Fallout. Over the course of the last few years, I had the opportunities to catch the developers of the original Fallout 1 and 2, and I have what is a fairly agreed upon flavor. All of the developers, especially the ones at Bethesda, they all have different ideas of what it tastes like. So we don't have a pure recipe to go off of, but we do have a lot of lore and descriptions. And we also have things like what fruit was available during that time in the altered future and what happens to a bottle of cola that sits around for 200 years. It's not just a straight cola. We've covered this in the podcast before. This is a fruit-based cola with a little bit of a creamy taste to it. We're going to be using water that we carbonate ourselves. This is important because we need to control the carbonation of the drink to a certain level. We can control the amount of fizz there is. Of course, the only other carbonated drink that we're going to be using is the cream soda. We also have our own cola syrup so that we can also control how much of the taste of cola is in there. Now, these are balsamic vinegars that have been flavored. The white one here is a strawberry, kiwi, and peach. The dark is a green apple one. We add in about two teaspoons of both the white and the dark balsamic vinegars to give it a unique taste and a little bit of a tartness that you can't really get through many other things. It's kind of what happens to sugar and water if you, you leave it for 200 years. It'll kind of turn into alcohol and then it'll, it'll kind of turn into vinegar. Not to say that it is vinegar, but I think that there's gotta be at least a tinge of something in there that's a little bit vinegary. And then we add in our three fruit punches. We use two tropical fruit punches and a regular apple, pear, and orange juice kind of mix. One of the key ingredients is raspberry juice. Raspberry juice would have been quite common in the States at this time. And then we add in a little touch of cherry. Definitely something that mixes with cola quite well. Now we're gonna add in the cream soda. So you got half fruit juices, half cream soda. About one to two tablespoons of cola syrup. This brings us to about half of our quantity. Now we're going to top this off with very strongly carbonated water. Make sure you have your quantities right because when you do the mix this you are going to get a lot of foam quite quickly. If you have the chance to make this, I highly recommend that you do. It is very, very, very different than any other drink you've ever had. It does not taste like swamp water. It tastes very unique. And back to you. Oh my god, that is so good. I don't have the words for it. This is absolutely fantastic. How do you like the little ting of the balsamic in there? You know, it's just, it's just perfect. Just the, the, yeah, just the perfect amount. It's very subtle, but it's, it's, so it's, it's just got a bit of a bite, 
mixed with, with all those fruit flavors and, and, and the cream soda. My God. Where did you get this recipe? <laughs> this is a secret one. <laughs> secret recipe. <laughs> secret recipe that we just showed you how to do. Uh, <laughs> this this one was lots of research into what would happen to a can of soda if you left it sitting around for about 200 years. <laughs> Point me to about 111. Bring on the apocalypse. Said, let me call all my family and friends and I'll get them all in the vault too. Because you know I don't want everyone to die. I just want, you know, this this new cola. You need stim packs too. Pretty important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well this 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 restores HP though. Yeah. That's all that's all you need, man. This is all you need. So if you want to make some really freaking good new Coca-Cola, do it. Just get get your friends together on a Friday night and make some of this stuff. You will not regret it. This is amazing. I'm, I'm having trouble doing my outro because I just want to drink all of this right now. So we hope you've been enjoying this series on making Nuka-Cola Classic. We'll have more videos with some other varieties of Nuka-Cola coming soon. And we hope that you try these recipes and send us your reactions. Tell us how you like them. Even if you want to send us some videos of, of you trying the Nuka-Cola, we would love to see those as well. On behalf of Saib, my name is Ash, and we will see you on the next Nuka-Cola Kitchen.